हेलो एंड वेलकम दिस इज हेना तलाटी एंड यू आर वाचिंग इट्स टुमारो न्यूज देर आर अबाउट 1500 पोटेंशियली एक्टिव वॉल्केनोज वर्ल्ड वाइड असाइड फ्रॉम द कंटिन्यूस बेल्ट ऑफ वॉल्केनोज ऑन द ओशन फ्लोर एट स्प्रेडिंग सेंटर्स लाइक मिड एटलांटिक रिज About 500 of those 1500 volcanoes have erupted in historical times. Volcanoes are Earth's geologic architects. They have created more than 80% of our planet's surface, laying the foundation that has allowed life to thrive. Their explosive force crafts the mountains as well as the craters. There are volcanoes on every continent, even on Antarctica. but each volcano is different these differences are due to the chemistry driving the molten activities the majority of the volcanoes in the world form along the boundaries of the earth's tectonic plates massive expanses of our planet's lithosphere that continuously shift bumping into one another Mount Shinabu in Indonesia erupted on March 2 launching a cloud of ash and dust several kilometers into the sky no one was injured in the eruption but authorities have warned people to stay away from the crater Mount Shinabu activity has increased since August last year and the alert for the volcano in North Sumatra province has been placed at the second highest level Indonesia's Mount Shinabu volcano sent a cloud of hot ash as high as 3 kilometers on Tuesday in its first big eruption since August last year. Indonesia straddles the Pacific Ring of Fire with nearly 130 volcanoes which is more than any other country. Shinabu has been inactive for centuries before it erupted again. In 2010, Shinabu is a typically stratovolcano in northern Sumatra and is located in a relatively cool area on the fertile plateau with the mountains bounding the north. The summit crater of the volcano has a complex longer form due to the vents migrating on the north-south line. Sinabu has total of 4 volcanic craters one of them being the active currently on 3rd January Sinabu erupted sending 1000 meters of eruption column to the sky on the other side of the world this week volcanic bomb triggered the fire on Mount Etna a bush fire on the slopes of the Mount Etna this Sunday was likely triggered by the volcanic bomb ejected from the volcano summit Volcanologists have now warned that the volcanic tremors in the last 48 hours can still change quickly. Mount Etna erupted on Sunday, February 28 for the eighth time in just a matter of weeks. The period of short-lived activity showered strong lava fountains and ash kilometers into the sky. The 10991 feet tall silicon volcano showed its ugly head after the 3 days of relative peace. Although the experts at first thought a new volcanic vent had opened up, the culprit was most likely a volcanic bomb. A volcanic bomb is a pyroclastic rock of semi-molten lava that can reach speeds of the hundreds of the meters per second when ejected a significant bush fire started during the peak phase of the yesterday's activity and initially the appearance of fumes from this area raised speculations of the possible new vent but soon were discarded the cause of the remains of the speculative but most likely it was ignited by the exceptionally far traveled hot volcanic bomb that landed in an area of dense dry vegetation the fire appears to have gone out but mount etna is still erupting as the volcano churned out lava a column of ash and smoke shot into the sky for several kilometers above etna summit the column then formed into a large umbrella and the ash was carried over to nearby towns Though the volcano has been fairly quiet with sporadic explosions and emissions at Etna's summit, the activity could still rise. 
Mount Etna's ongoing period of activity began in mid-February and the volcano has been spewing lava every few days. During the whole time over the past days, irregular explosions producing ash plumes rising a few of 100 meters have been continuing from the main vent in the central crater. Mount Etna is Europe's biggest and most active volcano. The volcano is believed to have risen out of the Mediterranean after it began life as a submarine volcano. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news, Hena Talati. For more weather updates like this, and please subscribe our channel.